So people were asking us how the animals handle the heat. And I don't know if you guys saw about the recent herd of cattle in Kansas that they had a massive temperature swing and they lost thousands and thousands of cattle. And um, unfortunately that can happen because cattle are not very tolerant to huge swings. And I know we've talked about this before, like in the winter time, Simon, are you making faces? In the winter time, it's hard on them too, but it can happen in the summertime and the heat as well. And unfortunately, just a horribly sad situation out in Kansas where they lost thousands and thousands of cattle because it went from cool to very hot, very humid with no air movement, very fast, and they lost thousands. So um, we've had a couple really hot, warm days here. So we um, obviously are making sure they have lots and lots of water and free Isaac doesn't want to be in the video apparently. Um, lots of fresh water and they make a mess of the water. They drink a ton, they pee a ton, they lay in it to cool themselves off. Um, but we also have these, like you see behind me, these curtains that can be lowered and this faces the west which is almost a, a mile of field behind us here. And we almost always have a very good breeze through here. You can see my hair's blowing. But we also got even some fans going to help move the air through here to keep them cool and keep them from getting too hot and suffering heat stroke just like we do. So. But then they use it to help themselves cool down because then they lay in it. It's kind of gross, but you know what? It works and it keeps them cool and keeps them from getting heat exhaustion. So everybody's doing okay. These guys are all crammed in together and they have three pens to wander and they still hurt up all together. All right, video done.